This is our uh, case study for um, streamlining our third third party assessments for peak and insurance. We use the SAQ module in Qualys to uh, to take a, a manual uh, security assessment process and uh, automate it using the um, SAQ module. All right, so um, I like to do who's in the audience. Sometimes audience participates, sometimes they don't. But, uh, you know, uh, basically what, what I'm trying to do here is trying to understand sort of who, who we have, if we have anybody in insurance, financial services, retail, manufacturing, healthcare. If I don't touch any of those, then uh, I'm not offending you at all. Uh, but uh, I try to get some audience engagement here. We are in the financial service, uh, sorry, more insurance sector. So uh, that's where we come from, from a security assessment perspective. Peak and insurance, uh, and we'll talk a little bit about what we provide and a little advertisement for them. But um, so with your security assessment journey, you're really uh, probably in, a, in, a, in one of these different uh, steps here. So you either have a manual process today where you're using more of a Word document or Excel document um, to assess vendors um, from a security perspective, or maybe you have a project underway where you're uh, going to be looking at a different uh, a solution. Maybe it's maybe it's you're going to integrate with a GRC. Um, with Peak and Insurance, we we went through this uh, sort of a uh, thought process as well, and uh, and. And, and we did look at a GRC, and I'll talk about that in a, in a few moments as to, as, to, as, as to where we went and why we selected the Qualys SAQ. Um, but at a high level, this is where most people are at. So with the session agenda, um, basically we're going to go over my case study for Peak and Insurance, how we started using it, um, sort of what were those aha moments. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, the challenges that we we had uh, as as far as using the solution, um, but we overcome them. Uh, and then uh, talk a little bit about some parting thoughts, some advice to you as you uh, go go uh, down the direction of security assessments. All right. So the space, what's driving the space? Um, what we've been seeing and what you've probably seen as well is that uh, the business, business leaders, business partners are, are going more and more to uh, cloud-based solutions. They're, they're saying, hey, I want to use this vendor. This vendor is going to be the one that I want to select. And security, I need you to assess them. Uh, this happens more and more. Each and every day, we've had an explosion, especially at Peak and Insurance, as to, as to um, wanting uh, business partners wanting to go this direction. So it's it's eating up some of our precious resources. So when we have a manual process where where uh, I'm, I'm tasking security analysts to now pivot, go from doing vulnerability management, threat hunting, um, you know, uh, attending patch meetings, things like that. I'm asking them now to pivot and take a turn and say, hey, start working with these vendors to do these security assessments. There's they're sort of drinking out of the fire hose. And so we're in a situation where where we need to get better, um, and so we've started seeing an explosion, uh, more or less, from a from from a drive to go third-party security assessments and 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 going from a manual to automating it. All right, so want versus need. So I'll, I'll admit something. Um, I, I I actually uh, was a big user of GRC platforms. So I've used Archer, I've used RSAM. I know they're here at this. Uh, this convention, uh, and they're they're both very good tools. However, they do take a long time to implement, uh, and and they they eat up some resources. You have to have some in some cases you have to actually hire FTEs to to actually implement the tool and configure it and to build it. Peak and Insurance just didn't have the time to invest to do that. We had a tactical need to be better at performing security assessments and. We couldn't wait to, uh, to, to, to build out these solutions, nor did we have the budget at that point in time because our company is going through a transformation with, uh, with, um, uh, um, with, with actually uh, improving the, the policy administration system. So there wasn't really any funds for that. So our situation was is that we, we really wanted a GRC solution, but we couldn't, we couldn't go down that direction. So our realization was is that we had to find a, a better solution. And, and for us, at that point in time, that solution was Qualys, SAQ module. All right, so case study. A um, little bit about Pekin Insurance. We're a small uh, uh, middle tier uh, insurance provider, probably life uh, business, uh, uh, 
um, personal and commercial lines. Uh, we got about 900 employees. Little fact about us: uh, we were in Computer World 2015 is the best place, one of the best places to work in IT. So uh, we're 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 trying to uh, we're sort of an up and coming uh, uh, insurance company and in, based in Central Illinois. Our business drivers are we you know we had a wide there was a widespread adoption to going towards cloud. As I mentioned before, our business partners were saying, uh, "Hey, we 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 need to go to the cloud." Um, we we need you to assess the security of this. We're concerned about it, and we had a manual process that was being conducted at that point in time, and and it wasn't it wasn't cutting passing mustard. So we had to improve and be better at at doing security assessments. Um, I also talk about the resource uh, impact to our current FTEs. Our security team is only six people, so that's a smaller security team. Um, and when we're being asked to do uh, uh, wear many hats from a security perspective, asking my security analyst to do a manual process for security assessments just wasn't working. And oftentimes we heard complaints from the business saying, we need to be faster at this. Uh, so, so we took a look and, uh, and, and, and we had some great results. We, uh, we, we ended up um, having a better business aligned process. We, we now assess vendors quickly. Um, and then we have improved bandwidth, so that's a big thing. Now I can take my security analysts and I can put them where I really need them to be, as opposed to not saying security assessments are not important, but I need them to be working on the most important stuff, the most important time, so their time is valuable. All right, so uh, our journey to cloud platform. So some of, some of us, uh, some, some people in the audience often ask, well, you know, how do we get into using Qualys? So we were using some other Qualys modules to begin with. So we're already familiar with using Qualys in the cloud, um, vulnerability management, PCI compliance, malware detection. So we added on the SAQ trial license and uh, did a pilot with our different stakeholders. And we eventually purchased in third quarter 2016. This is a key point to take away off to the races in hours, not years. We literally were able to turnkey and duplicate our, our, our process into the solution within two hours. It was, uh, it, it was very rapid. We had it built. The prototype was running, and we were able to test and pilot it, pilot it within two hours. Um, you know, of course, stakeholdering it and actually testing it out took a, took a month or so. But, I mean, how many products can you say can actually do this for you? It's it, 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 you really can't get that. And, uh, you know, when I compare it against, you know, engaging, you know, Archer or RSAM to do that, it's going to take a longer, it's going to have a longer tail on it. Uh, and for us, it just wasn't something that we could do at that point in time. We had to be tactical and we wear many hats. And so this solution allowed us to get where we needed to be at that point in time. All right. So. The third-party assessments without Qualys, this is roughly how it worked for us. We had uh, Excel spreadsheets. We were passing them back and forth to uh, analysts, the vendor. Um, notification correspondence. This is a, this is a, a you know, more, most, 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 most often, uh, oh, it's getting pretty loud over there. Uh, most often, uh, you're, passing, you're passing emails back and forth. You know, it's, uh, it's a vicious circle is what happens here. And I guess the key point here is multiple repositories. Uh, I can't tell you that how many times uh, as a manager I get, I get a call from a business leader saying, hey, what's, what's, what's going on with this particular assessment? And then I'm going scrambling, looking in the different repositories, trying to figure out where, where one of our analysts put it. So it's not, that, it's not that we weren't doing the right thing. It's just that we needed a centralized place to put the data and we needed a single source of record. And that's what Qualys did for us, centralized management. So uh, dynamic questionnaire, that's a screenshot. These are all screenshots, actually, of what the, what the solution looks like. But uh, dynamic questionnaire is, uh, is, is, is pretty much what it is. You can select and, and add and, and, and say what kind of uh, check boxes you want. You want check boxes, selection boxes. It's very flexible as to how you want to do that. You can require attachments. Um, you can, uh, you, can, you can do a numerous things within the dynamic questionnaire section. And then for status reporting, uh, that's a key one for us because uh, at any given time as a security manager, I need to understand what's the status of different, different assessments. And so it allowed us to do that. If you think about our previous process, we didn't really have insight. I was depending on the security analyst to tell me where that is, and that's eaten up their bandwidth. Uh, now the tool does that for us. Dashboard reporting. 
uh, there's a lot of great, if you're a Qualys user, Qualys already has a lot of great metrics for other things. Um, and and one of the one of the th our good good graphs in general. And so what we what we did here is we've actually taken some of the graphs, we've used them and extracted them in a way where we put them in our security governance dashboard, where we're reporting on these t uh, to our executives quarterly on status, sort of showing us uptick in assessments, sort of really telling the story of hey here's an impact now a true impact to our FTEs. So we can tell a story that hey maybe maybe we, uh, and you know. Six months from now, we need to start planning for more FTEs. We're getting, we're seeing an uptick here. Or try to augment our staffing in some way. And this is a really neat thing: workflow driven. So at every every uh, every time you schedule an assessment, you actually they call it a campaign in the in the solution. You're able to decide, you know, how how you want to how you want that campaign to be run. It could be a simple two stage where it goes from the security analyst to a uh, to, to a vendor and then it's done or you can so you can make it a three stage where it's where it's actually which actually going through um, m multiple stages where it could go to our security analysts to the vendor and then it can come back to me as a security manager uh, you can you have a tr you have power and authority over to how that workflow works so overall if you take a look at it uh, we are able to sort of create a one-stop shopping kind of kind of um, experience with with our solution when we compared it against how we were doing it manually so if you're if you've used the qualis before you know if you think we think about it sort of in the the ecosystem how we tie all the things together um, we get actionable information based off our assessments and if you look at the the compliance tower this is where we this is where we actually um, are actually completing the assessments, but we're getting data in that assessment that we are now passing through the other particular silos that really allows us to have, take some actionable security, um, whether it be in the in the other Qualys modules. So the data that we're getting about a particular vendor, if it has a particular risk level, then we're able to uh, take action in the in the other in the other um, Qualys modules that we that we that that we actually are using. So. We feel that you know, from an ecosystem perspective, we're able to we're able to uh, blend blend the security assessment features and, and the results in, in with the other uh, Qualys Qualys assessment. Um, I'm sorry, the other Qualys modules that are out there. All right, so uh, what have we've done thus far? So we've completed over 30 assessments. Uh, that's not a, quite a lot, but it's actually enough for us to be able to be able to be able to tell that, that we're seeing a nice uptick in um, in usage. Uh, we've got uh, business partners, you know, coming to us, you know, uh, every other every other week almost. It seems like saying saying, hey, you know, we've really seen a big uh, improvement in the security assessment process. Um, we've actually expanded beyond our base questionnaires. Qualys has a library of can quest can questionnaires that you can you can utilize. Um, so you can either use your own questionnaire, you can augment some of the questions from the library and, and make your totally a totally new questionnaire, or you can use what the ones in the library library have all together. It's your choice. It's very flexible in how you want to do it. Um, probably some of the some of the coolest ones I've seen is around ones around hosted service provider. Uh, there's a light and a heavy duty is the way I call it. So there's like a like a thirty a thirty question um, assessment, and then there's like a 248. So, you know, 30, anyone who's had to fill those out, <laughs> feel the pain. But, um, but you know, 30 sort of gets gets the easy stuff out of the way. Like, do you have a passer policy? Do you have this? Do you have that? And then you sort of try to hone in on what are those core questions that I need to get at? Because I don't want to waste your time, and you don't want to waste mine. Let's get to the point where we can understand where each other's at and, and, and be able to complete this assessment. So there's that flexibility there in the Qualys library. And then um, we actually have, as I mentioned before, we've actually pulled in a lot of the Qualys data um, and put that on our security compliance dashboard. So that, that shows a lot, a lot about, you know, what is our metrics, our performance metrics on the process, how it's been improved, and it helps us understand more or less uh, um, where we're at with, from a security assessment perspective. All right, so with challenges, you know, there's no solution that you can get on this floor, buy on this floor that's not going to have a challenge. Um, I mean, with us, uh, what we've noticed uh, with risk, risk scoring, so our previous process did have some risk scoring 
uh, uh, components to it. And then we would also uh, create an executive summary as to what our, um, our security analysts had seen in areas of concern. So we are actually working that outside of the tool, but Qualys has, has this feature on the roadmap. Um, and so we've been actually partnering with Qualys to, to make an improvement there so that, uh, so that it would help us as a, as, a, as a company, but also anyone else who would, probably, who would be purchasing, purchasing the product in the future or actually currently owns it. Uh, if you've been doing security assessments, you certainly understand that a uh, small, small amount of vendors like to export the, the assessment and work, work on it outside the tool. It's common. It's a common problem that, that Archer, RSAM, they all have the same problem. A group wants to export it, a vendor wants to work on it, and then they want to get it back into the tool. It's, it, never, it never imports uh, the, the way you want it to. It's a challenge for all of them. Um, we have a small amount of vendors that like to do that. We, we tend to see it with bigger companies. Um, you know, not defend any lawyers, but ones that have many lawyers involved, they, uh, they tend to like to make sure that they see the wording before it gets submitted back up. So we do have, we do have a small issue with that, but it's not a big problem. But it, it is a challenge that, that we do have with it. All right, so adding value, I think, I think the biggest thing that, that for us is it's turnkey. It was out of the box. Uh, I've never seen a tool that, uh, that, that quite was what it said it was. And, and for us, we found it was, it was we could use it within two hours. I could take you over to a terminal right here and I could show you how quick and easy it is. Um, it would, you, can, you can be off to the races within two hours. It's that simple. And I think the other thing I'd like to point out is zero hardware requirements. I don't know, uh, you know, with Archer and RSA, you know, I'm sure there's some hardware requirements there for you to get in the game. So not only do you got to pay the price of the tool, not only do you got to hire FTEs, you know, find a guy who actually knows how to build, build Archer or RSAM. Um, and then on top of that, you probably are going to have some hardware. This tool has zero hardware requirements for us. So parting thoughts. Um, you know, think about do you need a GRC to do what, you, do what you actually need to do. I mean, if you need to get better at assessments, then maybe it's, maybe it's better you look at uh, a, a tool like uh, Qualys. Um, it's a decision you have to make. Uh, for us, it was, it, the choice was easy. We, we ended up going towards SAQ because we had a tactical need to get better at assessments. Um, you know, think about stakeholder adoption. When you're going down the road, going down this road or any road, really, you got to have stakeholder adoption. So think about who are those people that your process is touching today, those business partners. Get them on board. Talk about their challenges and talk about how they can be better. And then introduce, introduce your, your solution, the product. You know, SAQ, say, hey, I want to um, partner with you. I want to do a pilot. Uh, you know, can I, can I can I have your business unit participate in this pilot with vendors? And then notify the vendors that um, they're actually going to be undergoing this pilot, that you're piloting the tool and that you need their help and support. It's usually a win-win there when you, when you engage them early and get their uh, feedback and help. Uh, the other thing is this is a no-brainer. Probably most of you know this, but uh, conduct assessments before selecting and entering into contracts. Uh, any good lawyer will tell you that, that uh, if you knew an assessment of a company after they signed the contract uh, and you find issues, if it's not somehow worded in the contract in a way where you can get those corrected, it's probably not going to happen. So uh, you, you got to do the assessment before you actually sign the contract. And the other thing is uh, what we like to do is hold assessor kickoff meetings. It seems like a little thing, but actually it goes a long way. You know, before you actually do the assessments, get the vendor on the phone, walk them through what the tool looks like, how to use it, and sort of clear any kind of roadblocks in advance, like any kind of concerns they may have about the tool, any kind of questions, uh, or just even, hey, we want to tell you that we got some, uh, we don't have a password policy or we don't got that. Get those things up front discussed because it's, it looks real bad when they get this closed in an assessment and you didn't get it. And then they find out later when they may have had a chance to tell you early on. So uh, it's, it's something that we like to do and it's worked out well for us. Having said that, uh, Q&A, any questions you have, I'll, I'll also be standing here on the side if you have any questions afterwards. But